Hello class, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will show you how to evaluate the limits of polynomial, rational, and radical functions. So let's have example number one. Evaluate the limit of 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So guys, marami tayong uh, method kung paano ba kinukuha or ine-evaluate si limits. So, ang ituturo ko ngayon is yung pinaka-easy uh, method kung paano ba natin maaaring makuha si limit ng isang function. So, dito guys, ang gagawin nyo lang is isa-substitute natin yung ating negative 1 dun sa ating variable. Okay, so, dito we have 2 times negative 1 cubed minus 4 times negative 1 square plus 1. Okay, so simplify natin yung ating uh, equation. So, negative 1 cubed, that is negative 1, times 2, this is negative 2. Then, negative 1 square, this is positive 1, times negative 4, we have negative 4 plus 1. So, negative 2 minus 4, that is negative 6, then plus 1, we have negative 5. So, the limit of 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 1 as x approaches negative 1 is negative 5. Okay, so next, let's have example number 2. The limit of 1 minus 5x all over 1 plus 3x squared plus 4x raised to 4 as x approaches 1. So, yeah, play natin yung same method. So, substitute natin si 1 dun sa ating x. So, that is 1 minus 5x, which is 1, all over 1 plus 3 times 1 square plus 4 times 1 raised to 4. So, simplify natin. We have 1 minus 5 times 1. We have 5 all over 1 plus 1 square, we have 1 times 3, that is 3, plus 1 raised to 4 times 4, we have 4. Okay, so 1 minus 5, that is negative 4, over 1 plus 3 plus 4, that is positive 8. So, the limit of our function 1 minus 5x all over 1 plus 3x squared plus 4x raised to 4 as x approaches 1 is negative 1 half. Okay? So, kung fraction yung final answer natin, guys, uh, don't forget to simplify natin to lowest term. Okay? So, next, let's have example number 3. Evaluate the limit of cube root of x square plus 3x minus 6 as x approaches negative 2. So, applying the same method, substitute natin si negative 2 dun sa ating x. So, that is cube root of negative 2 square plus 3 times negative 2 minus 6. Okay? So, that is the cube root of negative 2 square, we have 4. 3 times negative 2, we have negative 6 minus 6. So, 4 minus 6 minus 6, we have a negative 8. Then, ang cube root of negative 8 is equal to negative 2. So, the limit of the cube root of x square plus 3x minus 6 as x approaches negative 2 is negative 2. Okay? So next, let's have number 4. Evaluate the limit the limit of 2 x, square root of 2x plus 5 over 1 minus 3x as x approaches positive 2. So applying the same procedure, substitute natin si 2 dun sa ating variable. So we have 2 times 2 plus 5 over 1 minus 3 times 2. Okay, so simplify natin. 
So we have 2 times 2, that is 4, plus 5. Over 1, minus 3 times 2, we have 6. Then 4 plus 5, that is 9. Over 1 minus 6, that is negative 5. So square root of 9 is equal to 3. Over 5, then negative. So ito yung ating limits. Next, example number 5. Evaluate the limit of x squared plus 2x plus 1 all over x plus 1 as x approaches negative 1. So try natin i-substitute uh, or gawin yung method na ginagawa natin kanina. So this will give us negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1 all over we have negative 1 plus 1. So, simplify natin to. We have 1. Then, 2 times negative 1. That's negative 2 plus 1. Then, negative 1 plus 1. So, 1 minus 2 plus 1 is 0. And, negative 1 plus 1 is also 0. So, dito guys, kung mapansin nyo, ang limit natin is naging indeterminate. So, meaning... Uh, do sa first part ng ginawa natin kung saan sinubstitute natin yung negative 1 is dapat hindi muna natin gagad ginawa. So as you can see, yung denominator natin is mag magiging 0 and yung numerator natin is naging 0 which is indeterminate. So hindi natin malalaman yung limits pag nagsubstitute kagad tayo. So ano dapat ang una natin gawin? So, ang namiss natin gawin is isisimplify muna natin yung ating uh, rational function. Okay? So, para makuha talaga natin yung limit ng ating function is i-factor muna natin yung ating numerator. So, that is x plus 1 times x plus 1. Okay? Then, over x plus 1. So, in this case, makakancel yung ating isang x plus 1 sa numerator and yung x plus 1 sa ating denominator. Okay? So, pwede na natin ngayon i-ma-evaluate si x plus 1 or makuha yung limit ng ating function as x approaches negative 1. So, substitute na natin ngayon yan dun. So, we have negative 1 plus 1. So, the limit of the function is equal to 0. So, ito yung ating limit. So, the limit exists. Okay? So, again, kung magiging indeterminate yung ating uh, limit, meaning, kailangan muna natin isimplify yung ating function para makuha natin yung tamang limits. So, next, let's have example number 6. So, dito, we are asked to find the limit of x squared minus 1 over square root of x minus 1 as x approaches positive 1. So, try natin i-substitute si 1 dun sa ating uh, function. So, we have 1 square minus 1 over square root of 1 minus 1. So, dito, we have 1 minus 1 or 1 square minus 1 is 0. Then, square root of 1 minus 1 is also 0, which is indeterminate. Okay? So, hindi natin nalaman yung limits pagka sinubstitute kagad natin yung 1 dun sa ating function. So, meaning may dapat tayong gawin. So, ang common technique na ginagamit din natin dito guys is, i-rewrite natin si x square minus 1 over square root of x minus 1 sa ibang form. Okay, so commonly, ang ginagamit is i-multiply natin yung ating uh, function by square root of x plus 1. So, kukopyin lang natin yung ating uh, binomial. Yun nga lang, opposite sa yung ating gagamitin. Okay? So, kung ano yung ginamit natin sa denominator, yun din yung gagamitin nyo guys sa numerator. So, this time, try natin uh, i-multiply yung ating fractions. 
So that is x squared minus 1 times square root of x plus 1. Then sa denominator naman, this is a uh, product of sum and difference. So shortcut na lang natin. Square root of x times square root of x, this is x. Negative 1 times 1, we have negative 1. Okay? So, simplify natin yung ating fraction. So, try natin i-factor si x squared minus 1 to x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay? Then, as you can see, yung x minus 1 natin sa numerator is pwedeng makancel dahil may x minus 1 tayo sa denominator. So, therefore, ang bago nating function is x plus 1 times square root of x plus 1 as x approaches 1. Okay, so this time, pwede na nating i-substitute yung value ng x natin dun sa ating variable. So, we have 1 plus 1 times square root of 1 plus 1. So, we have 2 times square root of 1 plus 1, that is 2. So, ang limit ng ating function is equal to 4. Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope may natutunan kayo. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!